In a high school in Ithaca, New York, students have one of the highest drug rate uses in the country. However, recently, students have found a much easier way of getting high. Ping pong balls. Inside one of these buildings where juniors and seniors hang out, ping pong tables are available for students to enjoy, along with a gumball machine that dispenses ping pong balls for just 25 cents. All ping pong balls contain the chemical cellulose nitrate, which is inside the balls. When cracked open, this chemical is released, and if inhaled long enough, can give a really intense high that's, that's just great. <coughs> uh, the most common name for this is pong puffing, but some street names for this are balling and sniffing balls. This new fad brings a new meaning to the term tripping balls. When did you first discover this? Um, a couple of my friends were doing it under the bridge during the free periods, and uh, they talked me into doing it. So, describe to me how you do it. Well, usually I just cut the ball in half and inhale it, or if I'm really desperate, stomp on it to crack it open. But you can also lay it on fire and inhale the smoke, and the high you get from that is nuts. Do you feel that this is a I'm sorry, uh, I had to go. Do you have a quarter? I, uh, I need to make a phone call. What do you think about students spending a lot of time in the activities room? I think it's great. You know, there's so much going on in the streets these days. Drugs, abuse, things like that. It's nice to see so many students having a good time playing a good old-fashioned game of ping pong. So you don't think the students are doing something they're not supposed to, or there isn't anything fishy going on? Fishy here? No, there's nothing going on there. We have good kids here in the school. Good kids. Have you ever pong puffed before? Pong what? What? No. <laughs> it just seems very odd to do. No. Ugh. No. I know those kids are doing something. Damn kids. There's this one day, this kid comes into class, and he keeps asking me for a quarter. He's really bugging me, just grabbing at my clothes and everything. I had to use my taser to... He... I mean, he gave up and went on to another class. But this other time, this kid comes in, and he... Just looked weird. He jumped up on a desk and he starts dancing and then he jumps down and starts ripping off his clothes and. Ugh. Ugh. Damn kids. Hmm. Oh my god. Ping. Bong. Balls. Come on, everybody! Clap your hands! Oh, you're looking good! I'm gonna sing my song! It won't take long! We're gonna do the twist, and it goes like this! Come on, let's twist again! This teacher was molested by an intoxicated student. It was weird. It was definitely weird. I've been a teacher for 15 years now. <laughs> I had counseling and therapy. And... <laughs> I still, 
I still go through therapy. I was damaged. Do you hear the voices? Do you hear them? <laughs> They're coming. <laughs> That's very traumatic. And even today, I have a hard time dealing with the kids. Really. Oh, hi, kids. Hi, hi there. Yeah. Hello. No, that's In the last few weeks, ping pong and the selling of ping pong balls have been taken out of the high school and the balls banned from the school entirely. In fact, this whole situation has brought about Supreme Court cases as well as a chance for them being illegal nationwide. However, it has already been done in New York State and already is becoming the main target of gang violence and gang income. For all parents watching, be sure to look for these signs in your children that you saw on the show tonight. And as always, talk to your children. Good night. And cut! Good, everyone take five. <laughs>